Hey everyone, it's Betty Russo here with North Jersey Lifestyle and Real Estate and welcome to episode 10 of my show. I am so glad you can join me. Today we're going to talk about buying and selling in the spring market and what you need to know. So I know you've been hearing a lot about this, but inventory is low and inventory will remain low, uh, you know, in comparison to, you know, years gone by, but we're still going to see an, a little bit of an influx of, you know, homes for sale coming up on the market as we get closer into the spring. The good thing for sellers is that if your home is priced according to market value and if it is presented well, your home is gonna fly off the market because there are buyers out there that are just waiting for your home to be listed for sale. So again, just make sure your home is priced according to market value and definitely presented well. Um, it, very, very important in a market like this, even when there are limited listings available. For buyers, what this means for you is that you're gonna have to act swiftly and strongly with your offers. A good buyer's agent will you know, be able to help you through that process and make recommendations to you in order to help you come up with you know, the best offer that you can for your dream home when you see it hit the market. But again, um, there's a lot of buyers out there waiting just like you and this is no time to play. You're gonna have to act swiftly and strongly. So, so get ready. Um, your dream home can be on the market any day now, so I highly recommend that you prepare for that now. Now, what could be a little bit tricky in this market, and we've already been starting to see it, is that if your home is in a higher price range, not because you've overpriced it, but because it realistically warrants a higher price range. If you're in a town like, you know, say Oakland or Ringwood, um, you know, and your price is, I want to say 600 or over because in those towns, that's not really your average price range. So if you're in a town like that or, or even in another town in a higher price range, we're seeing that those homes are taking a little longer to sell. So it's imperative that you make sure you're working with an agent who knows how to work that market and knows how to sell it because it's gonna take a little creativity. We're not just sticking a sign in the ground and listing it you know, on the MLS in, in a home like that. It's, it's not gonna cut it. You need a little more marketing, a little more patience as well, um, but definitely be sure to list it correctly right from the get-go. Um, that's your first opportunity to wow your buyers and you really need to take advantage of that time. So definitely um, a little caution there. Don't play with price. Don't say, well, let's see if it sells, you know, because uh, the longer you're listed on the market and the more damaging it can become to your to your final sale price. So. You definitely want to work with somebody who can teach you how to get the most money for your house in the shortest amount of time, regardless of what price range you're in. And, you know, listen to your agent. Your agent knows what they're doing. They know what they're talking about. And um, you definitely want to take their advice. I know a lot of buyers, I'm sorry, a lot of sellers um, have an idea of what they want for their for their house, how much they want, how much they need to walk away with. And what you have to remember is that when you're selling a home, unfortunately, it's not about what you want for your house. It's about what the market is gonna warrant. So keep that in mind this spring. Um, if you keep all of those things in mind, and again, take the advice of your agent, you should have a quick sale and be on to the next phase of your life. If you have some questions in regard to your particular house and getting it ready for sale and marketing it for sale, I'd be happy to help. You can call me or you can message me privately and we'll set up some time to get together and talk more about it. Thank you for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed my show and learned a little bit from it. If you know of anybody who might benefit from this, please share my video with them as well. And have a great day and we'll see you next week.